Shelby, your mama doesn't tell me much. What's Jackson like? Oh, he's swell. <laughs> I thought he was a pest at first, but then he kind of grew on me, and now I love him. Oh, is he real romantic? No, but, but he buys me flowers, and I think that's so sweet. <laughs> Do you remember your wedding, Clarice? Oh, well, of course I do. I remember everything. The food, the flowers, and Weezer was a maid of honor. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Shelby, I do hope you and Jackson will be just as happy as Lloyd and I were. We had such a wonderful time. Until last November. Oh, oh Miss Clarice, I... there's still good times to be had. I know. You quit nursing? Never. I love being around all those babies. Drummond, I feel that Shelby should stop working after she gets married. You know what this place needs, Truthy? It's the radio. Stop people talking all the time. I got one at home. Why don't I bring it by? Oh, that's so sweet, Shelby. I love that.
Jackson sounds like good people to me. Well, I knew right there and then that if he's stupid enough to spend the rest of his life with me, then I'm dumb enough to marry him. carry candy in your bag? Without fail. Then tell me, do you suck them this often? <gasps> Marie, put that back! I do not like it when you bring weapons into my shop. How'd she get Daddy's gun away from him? I've been waiting all morning for my chance. I finally put it down to go to the bathroom. from God. I have not slept in dates. I look like a dog's dinner. And when I go down to my magnolia tree, there is not a bloom on it. Weasel, the judge has not decided yet whose tree that is exactly. It's mine. Would it be too much to ask for one blossom to brighten up my home? I am all alone except for me and my poor dog. Oh, you need something else in your life besides a dumb animal. What <laughs> a little bit, Corinne. Standing there looking at my, my naked magnolia tree when I saw drum across the way and I asked him what happened to all those magnolias. Then he fired at me. Is that rude or what? <laughs> you know what? You're just being pathetic. Drum is not trying to drive you crazy. He's trying to make Shelby's reception nice. Right place. Oh, what am I going to do with my poor dog? Well, I got some recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you check on my dog while I smack Clarie in a small mouth? You may not believe this, but these are the dearest friends I have in this town. Miss Weezer, I know for a fact there'll be no more gunshots. So why don't you just relax and have a coffee? Okay. You see, this is just going to work out beautifully. I'm almost done with Shelby. And now, can't shampoo Weezer. You see, love can be wonderful. Fine, I'll stay, but as long as there are no more gunshots. Oh, I'll leave your job for you. <sighs> Sorry, what was your name? Did you tell me? I'm a nail. I just moved to town not too long ago. With your husband? Well, well, are you married or not? Um, Bunky, that's my husband. He left last week. He took my jewelry, the car, all my money. He's in trouble with the law, all drugs or something. The police say that my marriage may not be legal. You should have said something. I was too afraid to. I swear to you that my personal tragedy will not interfere with my ability to do good hair. Well, it's something we can do to help. But I know one thing I can do. Why don't you come by my wedding party this evening? Now, if you're interested, my garage apartment will be available soon. Just give me a day or two to straighten it up, and I'm sure we can work out something with the rain. What in the... Oh, wait, sir, wait, sir, it's your dog! He's broken the chain. And now he's had to do it in Oh, what? God. Oh, Miss Weezer. It's my Wednesday. Please, will you say something to your dog? <laughs> kill, Red, kill! <laughs> <laughs> 
He is the poster dog for this Christmas festival. <laughs> that is Red. I did not recognize him. <laughs> no, it's good to see you Red with some hair again. Mm -hmm. I have to run some errands for Miss Weezer before I go. I ran into some old friends of yours. Oh? Owen Jenkins. Oh. Oh, hey. well, listen, that's a blast from the past. Do you remember him? Do I remember him? He had the longest nose hair in the free world. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't now. He hardly has any hair anywhere. He remembers you fondly, I think. Well, I can't imagine why. I managed to run him off before marrying the first of two total deadbeats. Oh, unrequited love, my favorite. Shelby, what's she get your mother for Christmas? Well, I told her this morning what part of it was. Well, tell us, Missy. I think it's a secret. Well, obviously, there ain't no such thing in this shop. <laughs> it's up to you, honey. I'm gonna have a baby. <gasps> <laughs> June 21st. And the doctor said you couldn't have children. The doctor said that Shelby shouldn't have children. Liam, there's a big difference. What Shelby says goes. It's not true, Mama. Shelby, you always insist on having the last word. Do not! I hate them. I try not to eat healthy food if I can help it. <laughs> oh, but while I have everybody's attention, I go down to my mailing list to find that someone has signed me up to the Riverview Baptist Church mailing list. Lucky me. I am now receiving chain letters from Christ. <laughs> Miss Windsor, they are chain letters. They're part of my prayer groups. Reach out and touch project. <laughs> we were each supposed to write somebody in the community that we thought was in spiritual trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you made everybody's list. <laughs> well, I think it is in the worst possible taste to pray for perfect strangers. Yeah, you know, reach out to Weezer on your poop back, bloody stump. <laughs> Miss Weezer, mm -hmm. how are things with Owen? I've been trying to contact you, but I haven't been able to lately. <laughs> well, I can report a Sherwood Flores delivery truck stops by your house at least twice a week. Oh, he knows I like fresh flowers. <laughs> and I can report that a strange car is parked in her garage at least once a week. Twice. <laughs> but there are my secrets out. I'm having an affair with a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Weezer, I've been dying to ask. Are you an Owen? You know. Wait, wait, wait. I need to get a mental picture of this. <laughs> well, I think a dirty mind is a terrible thing to waste. And no, not that it's anyone's business. Owen and I are just friends. Nothing more. He would like more. I'm dealing with that, but I'm old and I am set in my ways. You're playing hard to get. At her age, she should be playing beat to clock. She's just like her old dog, and they both are trouble with her new trash. Oh, hush, I do not like hearing trash in my shop. Why well, I can't help it if men find me desirable. <laughs> for next Saturday morning, as I'm going to be on my lonesome, and then was taking the world to serve vacation. Well, aren't you going to tell us where you're going? 
No. <laughs> and now, I do not know how I'll get throughout this week without the information. <laughs> I will not. You know I love it when you go on and on and on about your spiritual growth. I just can't get enough. <laughs> well, she's got a nice little trip planned to Cam Crossroads. What? Near the Ozarks. I don't believe I've ever heard of Cam Crossroads. Oh, it's a Christian camp. <laughs> I was in, all week in Bible study, prayer, and meditation. You're in the middle of nature, surrounded by the beauty of the Lord. Oh, that water bath. Oh, please, please. What? I'm just trying to get a mental image of this camp. Cross-eyed. I may want to go. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Morning, Morning. Morning. Oh. 
ought to be some with Jack Jr. running around the house. Well, I'm beside myself, Malin. What's the Shelby farm and I live? Can you talk about it? Oh, sure. Uh, basically, after the transplant failed, she went back home on dialysis. You knew that. And she'd been doing fine the last few months, but last Monday, everything went wrong. It's like dominoes. They, they thought they could correct things with a little surgery. As they wheeled her down, she said, Mama, I'm going to feel so good when this is over. And they gave her the anesthetic. In a way, she was right. Maybe she knew she was going to be with her king. Yes, Anil. Maybe so. We should be rejoicing. <laughs> Go on ahead. I wish I could feel that way. I guess I'm a little selfish. I'd rather have her here. Oh, Miss Malin, I didn't mean to upset you by saying that. It's just that I think, in Shelby's case, that she wanted to look after us, of you, of that baby. And so she went on to a place where she could be our guiding angel. I appreciate that. Thomas said you didn't leave her side. Well, I wasn't in the mood to play bread. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't leave my Shelby. You know, while she's in that coma, I, I'd work her legs and her arms to keep the circulation going. And I told the ICU nurse we were doing our Jane Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed there. I kept on pushing, just like I always have where Shelby was concerned. Hoping she'd sit up and argue with me. But finally we all realized that there was no hope. At that point I panicked. I was, I was very afraid that I would not survive the next few minutes while they turned off the machines. I just sat there holding Shelby's hand. Well, the sounds got softer and the beeps got farther and farther apart and all was quiet. There was no noise, no tremble, just peace. But it was at that point that I realized, as a woman, how lucky I was. I was there when this wonderful person drifted into my world. And I was there when she drifted out most precious moment of my life thus far. Well, I don't know how your inside's doing, but your hair is holding up beautifully. <laughs> Where'd you get it done? Oh, I, I did it myself. You, you did? Well, you did a lovely job. In fact, I'm going to be looking for some temporary help once the nail goes on maternity leave. Would you be interested? Uh, I, uh, I, I better go. Oh, well, we'll check the bag. It's perfect as always. Shelby was right. It does kind of look like a football helmet. Oh, honey, sit right back down.
Marie, you are a pig from hell and you should be destroyed. Well, Harley, Mother Nature is taking care of that faster than you could. Milady, you just missed the chance of a lifetime. Most of the and parish would give their eye to to take away the weezer. I'm sorry, it just it got me too serious there for a moment. And I know we're all entitled our own sorrows, and I am sorry. That was very funny, Clary. I have to admit that I laughed. Even though that was not a very Christian thing for you to do, Miss Clarine. And now, honey, you've got to lighten up. Well, we better let this lady go. She's got to be a pillar of strength. And she can't have I make her run down her face. I shouldn't have gone on like I did. I made everybody cry. I'm sorry. Don't be silly. Nap to throw tears is my favorite emotion. Maybe it's about time I had an emotional outburst. Maybe I'll start having them at home more often. Trum will be so pleased. I'm so glad I came by this morning. She ever would have had a good time here. I'm sure she did. Midland, tell your family, especially Drum, that they have been in my prayers. Yes, Anel. <laughs> I pray. There, I said it. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> oh, Miss Malin, I don't know if this is the right time or the place, but <coughs> I just wanted you to know Sammy and I have decided if this baby's a girl, that we want to name it Shelby. Since she was the reason that we met in the first place. Oh, as long as you don't mind, Miss Malin. Mind? Shelby would love that. I'll take a pink. Pink. Thank you very much. You've been a wonderful audience. If I could ask you to move very swiftly outside.